Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a Thursday evening episode of Ted's Boo Cellar with me, your most gracious host, Ted. Welcome to the Premier Alcohol Review Show here on YouTube. It is currently just about to turn 13 minutes past 6 on the 21st of December 2023. I hope I'm finding you all in a good state of affairs and I hope that the storms today in the UK haven't affected you too much. I just hope you're having a good Thursday and I hope you have a good Christmas, Hanukkah and whatever else you may celebrate. Now, we're going to be taking a look today at another one of the beers that my brother and his wife got me from their recent trip to America, and that is the Classic Porter by Breckenridge Brewery. Now, I did have a little look at what these guys are about, and they seem like a very long-standing brewery out of Breckenridge, Colorado. And they seem to be a real pioneer of the idea of ski town breweries, and they've been around for quite a while. They're probably one of the OG craft breweries considering they were set up back in 1990. It says here on their website they open up their original brewery and pub site in Brecon Ridge nestled below the slopes on Main Street. They then welcomed a man called Todd Ursery and he at the time was just doing an apprenticeship but then he went on some years later to become the brewery's president and he's become quite a big figure in the company and he's really led them through some quite interesting times because then in 1992 they opened another site in downtown Denver and then they said goodbye to their downtown site four years after that and when they realized they were producing 60,000 barrels a year they then moved from that site that they moved from into a disused carnation farm a little bit outside of Littleton, which is in Colorado as well. So they've had quite a storied history and they seem to be really dedicated to the idea of creating nice memories and the idea of creating craft beer. They've won quite you know, a few accolades and it seems like they're a pretty well-established bunch. So I'll put the link to their website in the video description down below if you guys want to check out what they do. Or if you're one of the locals in Colorado, then I just guess hit them up at one of their pubs and just see what you think. But anyway, today we're going to be taking a look at their classic porter. And this is one of the beers that my brother and his wife got me from their recent trip to America. I do like a good classic porter. And it doesn't really give much of a description on the can of what the drink is like, but doesn't necessarily have to be a good classic porter doesn't really need to describe itself too much you kind of really know what you're getting into anyway but i must say that i do like the stylized and very deeply and richly colored art design on the can obviously depicting the mountains in colorado and you know a nice little image of a train there being a train enthusiast i do like that the only criticism is the colors are a bit dark to the point where it, you know do you have to look close to make out some of the finer details of the art design on this can because it is actually really nicely designed I do think so that's my only critique it's a very minor one more so a me problem really more than anything so you know what I'll give the design of the can a good 9 and 9.5 out of 10 I think that's more than respectable now we have ourselves a quick snifter to see what our first impressions are like oh ooh, not too much fizz that's good oh whoa what a rich smell oh my goodness Mm, slightly creamy after smell. Yeah, very understated nose with a bit of a creamy after smell. It's a nice one though. It's like a good 8 or 7 out of 10. It's just that there's not much that I can tell about it, but what is there is really nice. So maybe if we pour it into a glass, maybe we'll have a bit better luck with that. Obviously, I am partially committing sacrilege here considering I'm pouring a porter into a Guinness glass, which is obviously a stout but oh, it's a nice head there the head's actually a little bit like a stout actually which is quite interesting i must say actually what really strikes me here is it kind of has the head of a guinness but then the color is more like a dark ale more like something like a john smith's or a london pride or something like that it kind of looked the look of it at least looks like a cross between a porter and a dark ale but obviously this is a porter so so you'll judge it on that basis so let's see yeah a little bit more chocolatey in the glass obviously because it has more room to breathe so yeah I'll, I'll give the nose a solid 8 out of 10 in the glass it's, it's a little bit better in the glass because it has a bit more room to breathe and you can tell there's a bit of a cocoa undertone to it which is really nice and again you've got that same old creamy after smell there 
that it could just stand out a little bit more and be a bit more fuller bodied but generally speaking the nose is really nice it doesn't overstay its welcome in any capacity at all so before we see what this sucker tastes like we have ourselves a quick palate cleanser so cheers all right and then on to the most important part of the video which is to see what this sucker tastes like so let's try and run at home bottoms up have a good christmas hanukkah whatever you may celebrate and a good new year's after that as always have a good weekend ahead and bottoms up Ooh, it's interesting it's one of the lightest porters i've ever had it's interesting though it's not bad it's definitely it's just not what i quite expected but i mean that in kind of a good way because hmm smooth texture very smooth mm, is there a cocoa flavor there there's more there's this kind of like minute cocoa flavor in the undertone really the main through line of the flavor is hmm it's just kind of sort of like simple oakiness to it that kind of really sort of complements the slight sort of tanginess at the end and that sort of underlying cocoa-y sweetness as well yeah it's just a kind of an amalgamation of different flavors that kind of do actually mix together quite well i'm just going to look up some information about this drink on their website actually one sec annoyingly i can't find much information about the classic porter on their website i can only find really the fact that it is included in their porter multi-pack which is called their porter pack which includes not only the classic porter also their german chocolate porter their neapolitan ice cream porter that sounds like it could be all right actually and then a good old standard vanilla porter so that actually sounds like a really good box actually of beers there but yeah honestly this is really really nice it's not quite what you expected i expected it to be a bit richer heavier and creamier like you would with a porter at least from maybe a british perspective but i suppose obviously the americans do have quite a bit of a different attitude towards brewing and obviously they do have very different tastes in many regards as is their right so mm, yeah it's a bit lighter a bit sort of sweeter and a bit sort of tangier at the end than a traditional like craft porter from the uk but the experience is really nice because the texture is unbelievably smooth it's sort of a little bit sort of like mellow with a little bit of like a sort of like tangy sort of texture there it's not really fizzy at all but it's just got this slight tang to it and then the finish is really creamy in terms of texture and then like i said the main through line is just this oaky sort of like hoppiness with like this cocoa-y undertone and with slightly sort of tart sort of zany aftertaste that it really stands out nicely against the texture so yeah this is this is very compulsively drinkable it's incredibly smooth and it goes down super easy let's see what percentage is this actually six percent is wow yeah it doesn't taste much smoother than you would expect a six percent beer to but um yeah i really like this definitely would recommend i think in terms of a numerical rating i'll probably give it a probably a nine out of ten there's something about the aftertaste that doesn't sit quite right with me but that being said apart from that the rest of the drinking experience is really good this is one of the best porters i've ever had because the thing is with a lot of craft porters they kind of don't really get the characteristics of what a porter should be like and then with other porters they can sometimes be a little bit too heavy and a little bit too dark so at least for my personal tastes so i really like what they've done here i think breckenridge brewery have definitely knocked themselves out of the park here and yeah they've made a really really nice classic porter so yeah definitely well done guys you've outdone yourselves massively hmm. and of course to my brother and his wife thank you for getting me this beer and the other beers that you got me i massively appreciate it and to everyone at home i hope you have a good weekend ahead i hope you have a good christmas hanukkah new year's or whatever and until next time if you like this video, leave a like, share and subscribe. Check out my social medias in the video description down below. And leave any comments down below for any suggestions for future episodes on this channel. And until next time, have fun, stay safe for whatever you're doing. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Wash your hands, drink responsibly, know your limits, and I'll see you guys at the bar.
next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye-bye for now.